right, uh, so let's uh, get you more stories now on New Center. At a time when the engine oil market is witnessing a slowdown globally, established players see immense potential in India's unique dynamics. Valvoline Cummins recently completed 25 years in India and is now getting more aggressive than ever to increase their market share. On the other hand is re-entrance of Caltex by Chevron in partnership with Hindustan Petroleum. Here's a report by CNBC TV 18's Rashna Dhanrajani on how these players see opportunities in India. Earlier this month, Hindustan Petroleum reported its numbers for the second quarter. Beyond the financials, what stood out to many was the commitment by the management to decide on value unlocking in its lubricants business within FY24. One of India's largest refiners, HPCL, thinks there's money to be made in lubricants in India, even as globally the picture is very different. But HPCL is not alone in making this bet. Be it the other homegrown oil giants like BPCL and IOC, or MNC players like British Petroleum or Chevron, all are putting in aggressive plans for growing the India lubricants business. I would say India is on a very unique platform right now. I think... Uh... I would say that a lot of, uh, in the last, what, one decade, a lot of investments have, infra have been done by the government, which is fueling the growth of the country as well as for the lubricant players. And also, I think we are seeing a lot of emphasis on emission norms. We have seen in the last, what, seven, eight years, we have migrated from a BS3 to BS4, skipped BS5 and move on to the BS6 journey. And similarly, in Pascar and motorcycles, I think we are seeing very, very unique propositions, new, I would say, models, uh, very exciting propositions for consumers. Globally, the engine oil market saw a decline in the post-COVID world. The global automotive engine oil market size is now projected to grow at a CAGR of 2.7% over the next 10 years. The slower growth is due to a variety of factors with the rising share of electric vehicles expected to be a prominent reason. India, however, stands apart, with growth projected at 7% CAGR for the next five years on the back of high passenger vehicle sales and build-out of infrastructure projects. The market is full with homegrown as well as international names and the latest addition comes in form of Caltex re-entering as a joint venture between Chevron and Hindustan Petroleum. India is a critical market. Um, you think about the growth in GDP and CAGR in this market, you have to be in this market. So it is a strategic market for Chevron. Specifically with lubricants, if you look at any public estimates around vehicle growth, around um, commercial vehicle growth, industrial growth, this is going to be a critical market for uh, lubricants. Already it's over 2 billion liters, um, going to probably 3 billion liters. So we feel that this is a very critical market to be in. Globally, the trend of electrification is expected to force companies to pivot before many of these segments in the auto value chain become redundant. Companies, though, believe that in India, the challenge of EVs is still afar. So I think a part of the thing is that it's not a dying market for our country because we are still growing and there's a lot of demand. And as I mean, we all know that uh, the automobile sector has been growing phenomenally and the uh, H1 figures have been fantastic. So a lot of demand is coming up. And EVs, as you say, is something which will uh, take some time to happen. And we are also there in the EV space. So as and when the demand arises, we are there fully to take care of that demand. Engine oil is a $2 billion a year industry in just India. And it's expected to remain robust in the medium term. According to industry leaders, this could go this way well into the 2040s, despite the threat of electric vehicles. In Mumbai, I'm Rachna Dhanrajani. With that, it's a wrap on this.